Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's get introduced to cubes and cuboids. Okay, so here I have with me an example of a cube, this die, and an example of a cuboid, this storage box. All right, now both the cube and the cuboid are three-dimensional rectangular solid objects. Okay, let me write that down. Three-dimensional, so 3D, solid rectangular objects. Okay, so 3D means length, breadth, and height. So a cube has a length, it's got a breadth, and it's got a height. Okay, length, breadth, and height. And so does a cuboid. It's got a length. This is the length. This is the breadth, also called the width. And this is the height, which is also called sometimes the depth. All right, so 3D is three-dimensional length, breadth, and height. Solid, well, because they're solid. And rectangular, because these faces are rectangular. So this is one face, okay, in the cuboid, this is one face. Behind this face is another face that we can't see. Now this face is made of the height and the length, okay? This is a rectangle, a rectangle made of the height and the length. Then this over here is another face. This one, which is made of the breadth and the height, okay? So this is another rectangular face. Then this is the third face, okay? Over here, the blue one, which is made of the length and the breadth, okay? So behind the white face is another white face. So those two faces. Then behind this yellow face is another face. So four in all so far. Then under this blue is another face. So total six faces. So a three-dimensional solid rectangular object and since it's a rectangular object, it will have six faces, okay? Made of six rectangles. And in the same way, this cube here also has got six faces, like a die. A die has got six faces on which the six numbers are written. So both the cube and the cuboid, they've got six faces, and they each have a length, a breadth, and a height. Now, if they are both the same, then what is the difference? Why is this called a cube and why is this called a cuboid? Well, this is called a cube and this is called a cuboid because the length, the breadth, and the height of this object are equal to each other. So the length is equal to the breadth, which is equal to the height. So for example, if the length of this cube was one centimeter, then the breadth would also be one centimeter and the height as well would be one centimeter. So actually all the faces of this cube are squares. They are not rectangles. Well, actually squares also rectangle. But anyway, to be more specific, these are squares. Okay, so each of these faces is a square while in a cuboid, the faces are rectangular. All right, so if the length is say four centimeters, then maybe the breadth or the width is two centimeters and maybe the height is three centimeters. So the length is different from the breadth and it's different from the height. So this is a cuboid. Okay, so this guy is a cuboid. Let me write that down. Whereas this one is a cube. Now here I have with me a cube and a cuboid, the kind that we will be using when we solve problems. Okay, now as you can see, it's got a length, it's got a breadth, and a height, which are all of the same size. So this is equal to this, which is equal to this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and they're all equal, okay? They're all of the same size. Whereas in the cuboid, the length is different from the height, okay? Which is different from the breadth. Okay, maybe I use three bars here. Okay, because these three are the breadth. 
All right, so that's that about a quick introduction to cubes and cuboids. In other lessons on cubes and cuboids, we'll talk about how to calculate the volumes of cubes and cuboids. Okay, until then, why don't you go and solve some practice exercises as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.